de Brian Schrober sobre lo que él realizó en las pruebas independientes de la Ford F-150, sobre todo en pruebas de manejo off-road. Well, Brian, uh, thank you very much for uh, spending time with us. We understand that you were a part of the testing of the F-150 before it came to market. Can you tell us about that? How did that happen, please? Sure. Uh, Ford advertised a U-test uh, program on their website where they would... Uh, They'd done their testing and they offered uh, the truck up to a few folks that could put it through the ringer, put it through the paces before the general public got it to uh, not only try to, uh, to, to beat it and, and, and find the weak points, but also to, uh, to be able to talk about it and explain what we liked or didn't like about it. Um, and this was uh, before it comes out. We're here at the media launch of the vehicle. The vehicle's going to go to market a little bit later this year. But so when, when did this happen? Um, the the U-Test started in January. The selection process was February through April. The U-Test was actually in uh, in July. Yeah. And uh, tell us what you did with it. Oh, no, one, one thing first, because you're not like general public, to, to, <laughs> to be completely honest, right? I mean, yes. you know what you're doing. No, I... I uh, I drive 350 to 500 miles a day in rental vehicles uh, on base in Yuma, and um, I, I'm just a civilian. I'm a, I work for a defense contractor and just drive the, drive the vehicles as part of my job, so I know how to, uh, how to break cars. I know how to nitpick on the little things, uh, the big things, and what I like and don't like in, in many, many cars. And uh, the F-150 was, I thought, if I can break anything, I'll be able to break this. It's yeah. brand new. It's aluminum. It's got a little engine. Um, I was I was amazed. Nothing broke. Sorry, nothing yeah. uh, nothing broke on the on the test. We did 500 miles uh, off road on a, on a pretty severe course that would simulate what we do. The, were you having any kind of doubts or any kind of, uh, of like things that you were thinking? Okay, why are these four people doing it? Like the aluminum body or like the, the absolutely bo anything? absolutely one the aluminum body. Um, I thought it would make it a uh, a less substantial truck. I like trucks. I, yeah. I love trucks. I need the weight. I need the capacity. Um, And I thought aluminum, that's not going to be there. And I said it was a 3.5. I thought, that's not right. I have a 5.4 in the truck yeah. I've got now. Why am I going to step down to a 3.5? And, um, and the, uh, the electronics inside, this, the, it was loaded. Uh, I don't need electronics. They're just not going to make it. They're too not going to stand Too much technology up. or too, too much kind of things for that. Too much vibration. Too oh, much okay. vibration. It's not going to work in, the, in, a, in a real workplace where, where it just gets vibrated to death. And uh, I said, we, the, the same truck that we drove is actually here today during the media launch. And, uh, the on one the, you did for the testing. Absolutely. It's, uh, it, it so it survived. Next. It, it survived, survived you. <laughs> it survived my test. My test was the first. It went to the next uh, test up in Montana, a, a rancher up there that towed hay. I think it was 600,000 pounds of hay. Uh, he thought it was a brand new truck when he got it. He didn't know I'd already had it. Really? So it went to Oregon after that, and it went up to Canada and Alaska after that. And uh, it's here now. We both drove it yesterday and thought it's still a brand new truck. It's uh, almost 20,000 miles now. Wow. So can you tell us a little bit about the specific of your testing? I understand it was pretty much off-roading, right? It was entirely off-road. There was a good mix of uh, washboard gravel, uh, high-speed S-turns. We'd get 60 miles an hour on the S-turns and the and P gravel. That was really good to test the traction control, the, uh, the locking axle, the four-wheel drive all together. Uh, there were some articulation points where we could test the new frame. As we noticed on the drive today, the, uh, the frame doesn't twist, yeah. not, not at all. Yeah, we're doing just the off-roading here, which is kind yeah. of not very extreme, but it's like the testy. It's, it's, a, it's a very good test. This is a, the type of course that you would have on a farm or in your uh, uh, just going out to a deer camp yeah. um, with a loaded truck. And there's, it, the, the truck stays tight. The doors stay sealed. This is the other thing I was worried about with the aluminum is if you get some body flex, the top of the doors will pop open. You won't have uh, a solid seam between the door seal and the, uh, and the yeah. frame. It didn't. The door stayed sealed 100%. There was zero dust in the cab when we finished. And uh, after this test, the only mud in the trucks, the only dirt in the trucks is the stuff that's coming on our feet. Exactly, you know, yeah. the, the trucks are brand new, clean inside, and they've been out here all week with, uh, with the media. So this is a uh, So it's really, cool. I mean, a good testament of what uh, this, uh, this truck is. I mean, when uh, it's like the best-selling vehicle in the U.S. for 37 years. And sure. when they change it that, that radically, I mean, like, people like you, consumers like you, like, were kind of worried. Sure, you know, Ford's advertising this is a game changer. And I thought, well, okay, it's an aluminum body, it's a smaller motor. Yeah, sure, it's a game changer. There's the economy, yeah, great. Exactly. You know, where's my truck? And I was proven wrong. I, I came in, I, I think I mentioned it in the video, I was a skeptic of the aluminum, I was a skeptic of the smaller engine. Yet the smaller engine rocks, that 3.5, um, just just killed it. And uh, since being here and driving the 2.7, it's even even better. It doesn't have the crazy power of the 3.5, but you have the economy and you still have some crazy amount of towing available. 
With a 2.7 liter. Yeah, exactly. We're and talking about the EcoBoost. Uh, that's correct. Uh, new engine for this uh, vehicle. Who acts like? I mean, they've done a lot of EcoBoost engines, but this is specifically developed for this one. And exactly. So you, you like it too. That's another thing that most people are saying, like a V6 in a big pickup truck. It's not just a V6, and it's not just a 2.7. Pay. Don't pay attention to the displacement. Drive it, and it's it's uh, it's an amazing feel. Uh, seat the pants. You shoot back in the chair, and it just takes off. You feel all the way down the road. Yeah. It's uh it's crazy power out of a 2.7. So where were you driving before the test? Were you driving Fords before? Or, I've driven, I mean, like, personally. I know for oh, your work, you drive I, everything. I have, a, I have a Volkswagen, and I have a Land Rover at home, and an old uh, Willys Jeep. So yeah. I'm, I'm a car person. A car I, person. I, I do enjoy vehicles. I like the uh, capable vehicles. And um, this is uh, this is certainly capable. This uh, this would be welcome in the driveway. <laughs> Here's so, our truck here. So very good. Oh, the, the truck that yep. you drove is this exactly. one. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're here at the Proving Grounds for, uh, for this uh, media event. So yeah, you're right. It looks pretty new. I mean, not no damage to the nope. body or anything, and nope. you you put it through a lot of extreme uh, conditions and everything. Yeah, I wouldn't know really. No, it, it, you get inside and it still feels like new. We took it on the road. There's no rattles. There's no. Uh, it, it doesn't feel like it's gone. It's gone through torture test after torture test after torture test, and nobody here has been easy on them. Yeah. So it's a uh, it's a testament to its strength, and and certainly Ford's got a lot of courage and and uh, belief in. And the light weighting and the engine and the powertrain, the, the whole uh, dynamics and stability. They've, they gave it to you. Now they say it's ready, and I, uh, I agree with them. So it's going to be a game changer. <laughs> I, be I believe so. I think you're going to see a lot more aluminum uh, very quickly. Uh, not just on the, on the, in the Ford line. Ford's obviously got a jump start on it, but I think you're going to see the others going. Huh? It worked. This works. Yeah. It, it worked. Now I got to get on the on the bandwagon. In three to four years, you're probably going to see quite a few others, not just trucks, but but cars as well. And I think that's an industry changer, not just for the game. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Brian, for your time. And you mentioned a video. Uh, where can people uh, uh, take a look at that? Sure. Ford Ford put this up on BuiltToughTest.com. Uh, it's also on YouTube. You just look up the uh, the 2015 F-150. Uh, you'll find it there. Uh, the Built Tough Test is a YouTube channel that Ford set up. For this, also on uh, Facebook, I believe Ford Trucks. Search for Ford Trucks, and uh, and it's on there. All of the all of the U test videos that are out so far, the the we test videos where Ford actually went out and and demonstrates the capabilities and, and uh, strengths. Yeah, and actually one one last question. I, sure. I was kind of forgetting forgetting. They talk about the military grade of the aluminum. What does that mean? Does that mean so they have there's different grades of aluminum. There's your tin cans, you know, your soda cans, your beer cans. That's just straight aluminum. Um, this is an alloy that's not just aluminum. Um, I don't recall the other the other metals that are in it, but it is. It, there's a spec. There's a um, like a grade. It's a, it's a grade. Like, it like a, a formula six, that goes into it. I believe it's a 6,000 series okay. uh, aluminum, and that is that is the military strength. There's a lot of uh, military products, not just aircraft, but um, but truck systems, radar systems, sonar systems that use this, and it's high strength. It uh, it doesn't puncture easily. It doesn't tear easily. It doesn't bend easily. And if you if you uh, hit the side of the door with your fist or or your knee, it doesn't bend, not at all. It's very stiff and super light, and and very light as well. You can uh, you can pick a, a door up and it doesn't weigh anything. It's uh, far different than slamming a truck door and feeling the the truck shimmy and shake yeah. uh, with the weight. There there just isn't any. Well, thank you very much again, sure. and like um, we're gonna post all this information on our website so people can enjoy you watching the video. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.